Hello and welcome to Revit Beginner Program. In the last episode, we learned about how to generate a mass form using an extrusion approach. Today, in this episode, we are going to explore how to blend various different profiles and create an interesting mass form. So on that note, let's begin. Okay, so the first thing I want to do when I'm working with my massing is to go to the massing inside and switch on the visibility of the mass. Then let's go ahead and in place mass and call it mass by blend method. Now in the blend method, we need to create multiple 2D profiles with and ask the massing tool to blend all these profiles into one mass form. So to demonstrate this, I'm going to create multiple profiles and let's see how the mass form really blends them all together. So I'm in my level zero floor plan and let's go ahead and maybe create a circle over here of about eight meters in radius. I'm going in my level one and maybe I want to create an oval shape over here. Let's start with two profiles at the beginning and here you can see that I have two profiles on top of each other at different work planes. One at level zero and another is level one. Now I'm going to select both of these, press control to select the other and ask the massing tool to create a solid form. And here you see that now it has blended these two profiles into a mass form. Now let's go ahead and press tab and select the top surface. Now I have this familiar gizmo here. I can just drag it up, pull it up and increase its height or type it in here saying I want this to be about 15 meters tall. So here we are with a beautiful tower with a blended shape. I'm going to finish this mass here and go ahead and the massing inside and try to create a wall over the surface. Let me create maybe a brick wall over here. And you see that we have a nice beautiful surface converted into a wall. Let's go ahead and create a curtain system and I'm going to make about 20 divisions by 20 divisions to start with. And let's go ahead and select the surface and create system. So there we go. So an interesting shape that we could create out of blend. Now, in this particular case, we're creating a blend mass form by creating a 2D profile in a floor plan view. Now, if you notice, both of these profiles are closed loops. Now, now in massing, it's not really necessary that we create always a closed loop. Let me demonstrate this to you. I'll go back to my level zero and maybe I create, go back to massing and sign and create an in-place mass, mass by blend with open line. And this time, I want to start creating a spline maybe here. And I'm going to create a profile that is here on level zero. Let me go ahead and level one. I'm going to create a profile which is slightly different curve here. And maybe on level two. Now this time let's try to create a mass form between three profiles and not two. You can create as many profiles as you like. And I'm going to start by adjusting my curve a little bit like this. Let's go ahead in 3D. Oops, I selected the wrong point. So I'm going to select this point and delete that. Three beautiful curves which you would like to blend. So I'm going to select the first, press Ctrl, select the second, and select the third. Now I have three 2D profiles selected and I'm going to go to my massing tool and say create solid form. And you see that I have a surface that I have created in my mask. Now let's say I want to convert this particular surface into a wall. Now half of the surface is a wall and half of the surface is a curtain system. How do I divide the surface? Let's go ahead and select this particular surface and go into edit in place. And I'm going to select press tab and select this entire mass form. And then go ahead and select add edge to. Now you can do this in any surface of your any mass form. This is just one place that I'm going to demonstrate this. So let's go ahead and add edge. And, and he so here we are, it kind of detects the surface and tries to give you a point where you can split the surface into two. So let's select that and here we are. So we have split this particular surface into two parts. 
And I'm going to finish that up. And let's go ahead and add passing inside and a wall. I'm going to make this a brick wall. And the rest of it, I'm going to make it a garden system, maybe already about 10 by 10. You can always increase, decrease as grid numbers. You can see, see here that we need to still make more divisions. Maybe let me add 15. You can see how it works. Or maybe 20. Yes, it looks a little bit much better. So you can keep experimental until you are happy with your design. So here we are. We made a beautiful form out of blending three different 2D profiles. Now, so far in both of these cases, you have seen that we have been drawing our profiles on different levels. Now, this is not always necessary. And it's also not necessary that you always draw in a floor plan view. Let me go ahead and demonstrate one more example of blend. Now, in this case, I'm going to use reference planes to select and adjust my work planes. So let's say I want to draw something in my elevation view. How do I set the work plane there? So let's go ahead and maybe create a reference plane. RP is the shortcut to that. Or if you want to go ahead in architecture panel and go all the way right to the work plane panel here and select reference plane. And let's say I want to select this is my number one work plane. And I like to always give a name to my work plane so it's easier to select when you're in an elevation view. Okay, so this is my first work plane. And my second work plane that I want to draw for my second profile is going to be about four meters in distance with the previous one. And I'm going to give it a name, number two. And maybe I want to draw one more profile also at four meters. And I'm going to give it a number three. Now I'm also going to create um, left and right work planes just to make sure to understand where I would like to draw when I am in my elevation view. So I have my left and right and I want to draw something in between here. So let's maybe cut a section over here where we can see everything and I'm go into my uh, section view and let's go ahead and masking inside in place mask, mask using work planes. So here, first thing I want to do is my set my work plane. So I can set, set a work plane. I already give it a name so I can say reference plane number one. Now, if you're giving it a name, this is why it gets easier to simply select your work plane from the drop down. Otherwise, you would always have to go back to your level, set, pick a plane, and always go ahead and pick that plane, go to that section view. So it's a little bit of a longer process. So here I'm here, and maybe I want to create a curvature, something like this in my first profile. You can close it if you want. I'm just going to keep it open because I want to make an interesting surface out of it. And then I'm going to set my work plane to reference plane number two. So it went a little bit ahead you can also go ahead and see where your work plane is so when i set my work plane to reference plane 2 you can see where how it's moving ahead in reference plane 2 so let's go ahead in the section view make sure that your reference plane 2 is set for your work plane and i'm going to draw another profile maybe let me draw a reference plane over here to mark the middle and maybe i want to Make another profile, something like this. Now I'm going in my placement plane, reference plane 3. And I'm going to repeat the same profile over here. So I have three profiles, as you can see here. The first profile, the second and third. Three profiles and three different work planes, which I would like to now go ahead and blend. So are you ready? Let's go ahead and select them all. You can simply select like this or select one by one pressing control and go to the create form tool and create a solid form one two and three here we go so you can see a beautiful a vault like structure that we have created out of these three profiles let's go ahead and finish the mask Okay, so maybe in this case, I want to convert this particular roof into a beautiful glass roof. And I'm going to make this a little bit higher, maybe 25 by 
20 and select this roof go ahead and create system wait for it let's see what it really creates out of this mass form there we are a beautiful a wolf like structure you can also use this kind of methods to create interesting tensile structure forms so this particular example really demonstrates that you don't always have to be in a floor plan view or in a horizontal xy plane to create your uh, 2d profiles you can you can change your xy by changing your work plane and creating 2d profiles in a view that is necessary for your design so i hope you enjoyed today's tutorial the next episode is going to be about mass by sweep and swept blend approach so please make sure that you subscribe stay tuned i'll see you in the next one